me uh, Sarah Sarver mm -hmm. from uh, Zagłębie Sosnowiec. Uh, after the, the game, which started good for your team, but afterwards, uh, uh, I think it, it was at the beginning the, 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 the tough fight, I would say. Uh, but afterwards, it's Polonia who won, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you comment on this? On the I mean, the other team fought really, really hard. Um, we fought really hard as well. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, we gave up too many points, which I think was a big part of this. I mean, any team that scores this many points, it's really hard to defeat for sure. Yeah. Um, we had a great fire set to the last second, and unfortunately today went to the other team. So <laughs> we'll see next time. You, uh, you have a lot of uh, players who are really impressive uh, for the three-point shooting. Like the efficiency is good. Are you training somehow more on this element, or is it just natural that you have uh, a lot of no. talented players? Oh, no, I think everybody of our team has to work really hard to be at this level for sure. <laughs> it's not, I mean, of course, there's some talent in it for sure mm -hmm. too, but everybody works very hard and in practice we work very hard as well on that. Uh, the, this season is kind of full of surprises, right? For sure. Because uh, last uh, round you defeated the present uh, champion of yes. Poland. Why now? You you uh, you didn't mm, succeed against the newcomer in the league, Polonia. Yes. I mean, it's it's like a very good league. I played this league last season too. Like everybody has good players, and it depends on the scouting. It depends how well the different players play. Mm -hmm. Like there are so many surprises in this league. You have so many talented players. You just like don't know mm -hmm. what happens every game. And I think that makes it really exciting because if we had like, oh, these are the champs for sure, and these are like the worst team, like that would be boring. So it makes it a really good league as well. Mm -hmm. So you never know what happens in the next game. But but do you think that this this season it will be like the the the, the league table will be more flat? Uh, because I think that the, the previous season was more like Arka, Polkovic and then oh, Agat, yes. okay? While now it seems that it's going to be different. Do it seems agree? like it, yes. <laughs> I mean, we don't know what's going to happen for sure. Um, nobody knows what's going to happen. But um, it does seem like it, that it might not, like this year is not going to be like, oh, this is going to be the winner for sure. Mm -hmm. Not like, we'll see, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely agree. And for, for your team, I would say that it's like uh, the core of the team is built on a fourth ring players. Mm -hmm. And we saw today when, for instance, one of them is pulled out, you're getting a little bit in trouble. Yes, that is very true. Like, um, I mean, we do tell other players, they do step up at times, mm -hmm. for sure, they get better and better in it, which is good, because we need the help, because as, as you said today, one of, like Aisha, like, one of our best players, for sure, mm -hmm. like, is like, oh, like, we have built up four players, pretty much, right now, mm -hmm. and one Polish player. And, um, yeah, it's really important for us to play good and not fall mm -hmm. out and not get into the situation. Um, which I think Aisha tried today, but it kind of got out of, it was out of her control at this point, I feel like. Um, but also, yes, we do need other players to step up. I mean, I think like C, mm -hmm. uh, saying, um, like she really stepped up today okay. in her minutes. She did a very good job. And also some of the other Polish players, they, mm -hmm. um, play well in the minutes and they're getting better and better. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck with that. Uh, just one more question. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, because you are also playing free X3 yes. for the, for the national team, uh, of uh, Austria. You also had the chance to compete against uh, Polish girls who, who, who played like Claudia Sosnowska and uh, Anja Mowoska. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to ask you, uh, how difficult is to like to uh, tune yourself after the summer in 3x3 to go back to the regular 5x3 uh, basketball? It's it's very <laughs> different. It's it's a very good question because like one of the first friendly matches, I fouled out because three on three is so much more physical, mm -hmm. and I just fouled out in a few minutes because I just kept <laughs> playing physical. I was like, dang. So <laughs> yeah, no, really. Um, I mean, I did like end up taking a break for three on three a little bit and worked on five on five before coming mm -hmm. here. So I do did trans work on the transition. Okay. But uh, yes, it's definitely different. But also it helps. Though. Some of the three and three aspects help for the five on five, so it's really good too. So, what, what are the benefits for you from the three x three to to five on five? Well, five, 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 five? Three and three is very quick. So, okay. like for me as a tall player, I gotta be quick and. I mean, the decisions as well. Right? Yes, decisions are very quick. Like, and you have to play. You have to play defense on everybody, which is mm -hmm. very beneficial to. Um, for me, it's beneficial because I'm tall, and then I can be quick as well. Okay. Or also, you have to shoot a lot of threes. Like three and three depends on shooting threes yes. a lot, so you have to get your efficiency up on that. So and that's that's where you train your shooting game. Efficiency. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh,